Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and what I've got here is Acer's C720 Chromebook. This is running Google's Chrome OS and it comes in at under £200 in the UK. For that money you get an 11.6 inch HD screen, 2GB of RAM, 16GB of solid state storage, Wi-Fi, 802.11, ABG and N and also Bluetooth. Now I'm going to unbox this in this video and show you what you get for your money and I should also mention that I'm really excited to actually get this unboxed. Um, I have tried previously to unseal this, let's try again, uh, but I'm keen to really test out the battery on this because I've been reading some people's reports on this that they have been getting uh, between seven and nine hours of battery life. So I'm very, very keen to test that out. Now, as I say, I did try and get this open a little bit earlier and I was struggling with the ceiling. So here we go, let's try this again. They've made it very, very tight on this seal. Goodness me, here we go. We are in, we're in the first seal and let's unveil how they actually present this in the box. Yeah, it's fairly nicely presented. So let's have a look what we've got in the top here. So first of all, we have got a sort of setup guide, and this is gonna guide you through just getting everything out of the box, checking you've got everything and setting it up for the first time. And also a quick guide about getting started with the Chrome OS as well. So a nice little quick sheet guide. And then we've also got some warranty information here, and also a further quick guide packed in here, with probably a little bit more detail inside that second guide. Then we've got the laptop itself. Let's have a look at the accessories first of all. So inside this right hand panel, we've got the charger. Now this is gonna be a multi-voltage charger, which comes with pretty much every electrical item nowadays. Yep, this is multi-voltage, 100 to 240 volt charger. And this end here goes into the laptop itself. And then in this end here, we've got the connector, which we're gonna get a country specific cable for. So if you're traveling around, all you need to do is pick up a different cable and you can still use that mains adapter with your Chromebook. So I'm in the UK. So in the UK, we have these big three pin UK plugs. And then on this end, we've got the connector that goes into that power supply. And then the only bit we've got left in here is the Chromebook itself. So let's just take this out and we get rid of the packaging and have a closer look at the C720. Now this has still got a Celeron processor in, uh, but it is the Haswell generation of processors. So it should give a reasonable turn of performance uh, for a lightweight operating system as well, don't forget. And also that really wicked battery life. So here we go, this is what it looks like. And I must say I'm impressed. The actual quality feels very, very good indeed. It's amazing what you can get for under 200 pounds. In fact, at the moment in the UK, you can pick these up for 189 pounds with 20 pound cash back. So you're getting it for 169 pounds. So let's have a little look around. This is obviously the hinge part of the laptop. Yes, it is a plastic construction, but it seems quite nice grade plastics. We've got some ventilation ports on the back there. No doubt the fan is placed pretty close to that ventilation port as well. And then round on this side, we have got the input for the power connector. We've also got an HDMI output. We've got USB 3 on here. And we've also got an output for headphones. And it looks like headphones and microphones, so it's sort of a multi-out port there. And then round on this side, this is the front. We've just got a couple of sort of LEDs just here for activity. And then round on this side, yet another USB port. This is a USB 2 port, Kensington lock, and an SD memory card slot. So a really nice complement of ports on here. So now let's have a look at this for the first time. So let's open this up and it looks really nice. Wow, nice little screen there. So 11.6 inch HD screen. We've got a bit of cloth covering up the keyboard here. And the keyboard is a chiclet style design, as you can see here. We've also got a nice little trackpad with left and right clicky buttons. We've also got a webcam up the top here and I believe this is an HD webcam. We've also got a little microphone at the back of the keyboard. 
let's have a closer look at this keyboard for you. It looks really nice, actually. Very, very nice. We've got sort of quick access keys at the top here uh, for backwards and forwards, screen functions, brightness, volume, etc. And a full QWERTY keyboard on here. Uh, there's another little light here. This is probably going to be some sort of activity light. And then this is the trackpad, which feels very, very nice. And here's some more of the specifications. So fast boot up time, seven seconds. Battery life, eight and a half hours. Solid state drive, data access, free apps available, built-in security, automatic updates, 100 gigabytes of storage on Google Drive for two years, and virus protection. So it's not going to start up that quick on first boot, but let's give it a go, see if we've got any juice in here. So here we go, there wasn't actually any power in this out of the box, which was a little bit disappointing, so I've got it plugged into the mains recharging the battery. And let's try powering this on. I have already powered it on once, so this is a shutdown and then an additional startup. So let's see how long it takes to boot up. So we can see the screen come on, it's loading, and now it's asking me for my password. So there's the password keyed in, push enter, and we're in. So literally within the seven seconds fast boot up that they quoted, and this is Google's Chrome OS. Now the screen doesn't actually flicker when you're looking at it with the naked eye. It's only coming through perhaps on the video. So the quality of the screen, well, my first opinion is it looks a little bit washed out. Let's have a look at the brightness. So we go down to the lowest brightness, which is very, very dark. And then we're gonna turn all the way up the brightness to maximum brightness. I think it's more than acceptable. The viewing angles are okay. I like the fact that it's a matte screen rather than a glossy screen. We've got access down the bottom corner here to Google Chrome. We've also got access to Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Play Music, and then apps as well. Now, within that apps drawer, it has uh, already started synchronizing my previously used app. So it's already pulled across the Sky Plus app, which is nice. And if I scroll to the right here, We've got files, Google Play, Google Play Store, I think this one's gonna be. We've got calculator, camera, games, Google Keep, which is another really useful application. And you've got basically access to any of these apps. So let's have a look very quickly what this one is. Let's tap on that. And it's opened up my Chrome with all my tabs in place. This is actual Google Play Books at the moment. And there's more books down the bottom. And let's just close that one down. Let's do one more thing. So let's have a look in here. And let's have a look at the Apps Store. So basically you're living within this sort of uh, browser fed environment on Google Chrome OS. So you can only run applications that run within the browser, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You don't have to be connected all the time. There are offline apps as well. In fact, let's have a look at offline apps. So we've got things like Google Drive, we've got Google Play Books, which we already looked at, we've got Google Calendar, Gmail Offline, Google Keep, we've got uh, Until AM for, for Chrome, Virtual Turntables in Neat Packages, Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, Slides, Workflow, absolutely loads of applications to choose from. And we can also look at apps that run on the desktop as well. So this is new. This is uh, actually run outside of the browser apps uh, so instead of being in this sort of Chrome window, they will actually run on the desktop. So we've got things like Google Photos, Google Keep again, Autodesk, uh, which is an offline photo editor. We've got Pocket. We've also got Poker Squares, AnyDo, which is a task manager. VNC Viewer, so we can actually uh, remote control another computer. Plenty of apps to choose from. So I'm going to be really testing this out and seeing how it performs. Now, a lot of the stuff I do is within the Google environment. This isn't gonna replace my MacBook Pro at all, uh, but it is gonna be a welcome change to use something that's just there, just instant on, great battery life. And I wanna be testing this to actually see if I can use this for some sort of productivity, as well as doing emails, of course. So do stay tuned for some more coverage on this. But for now, my first impressions is this is a solid feeling laptop very, very nice feeling. And I think that Acer have done fantastic to deliver us the Acer C720 in such a compact package for such an amazing price. I just cannot believe 
what you can get for under 200 pounds nowadays. So that's it for this video. I hope, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on my future coverage of this Acer C720. And don't forget that I also publish a brand new tech video on the Geek and Noise channel every single day. So if you want to catch up on what I do as part of my geek lifestyle, then you really do need to subscribe. So thanks again for watching. I will see you all in the next one.